Batman. Did you know that SG is also known as Batman? Marvel. Besides being Batman, did you know SGS is also Steve Rogers aka Captain America? Smallville. SG also considers himself Clark Kent from Smallville, but only a few people know who his lowest lane is. Hey, welcome into the ballpark. Ball Happy to have you with us. Hitting Triple some A comments. action coming at you Hi. on the show. Hello. It's the Gwinnett Vegabet. Stripers going Did up you know against SG the Nashville also the Prince of all Alongside Chris Singleton, Vegabet. I'm John Chomby. Amazon. Welcome to a special you game for us for down in the minor league, checking out some Twitch. futures. You can check out my Amazon wish list at the team's front officer here to check out a play they're considering for a call-up i think it'd be aggressive hello everyone and, and welcome Hudson to the Pots. stream what a season it's been for him we are back we are playing some baseball here. that average ripped into right field base hit in comes the run from third and they're up by three well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Righty delivers, and there's ball four. Brayden Shoemake will hit next. And a pitch. And down on strikes. One gone here. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. On the ground, a short could be two. One at second. Over to first, safe. And now the shortstop, Eli White. To the right side. That's a base hit. Run scores. Well done. Drives in the run. Not much. Now the third baseman, Hudson Potts. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Hit hard on the ground to short. Ah. Gets it to first, and that is the third out of the year. Now it's the shortstop, Andrew Monasterio. Singled and scored his first time. On the ground to the left. To first, two gone now. Man at first with one gone, and here's Alex Jackson. 0 oh for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And he deals. Maybe a two ball, five. Throws to first, and that is out number two. I didn't even realize there was a guy at first. Until Base is empty, one away. And here is Hudson Potts. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Late swing, fouled off. One down, base is empty. Strike two. He was really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. And now the right fielder, Jesse Franklin. He's 0 for 1. On the ground. It's off his chest. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him to chase on the two-strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. Liner, base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's seven to three. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still. And here is Alex Jackson. Bunting for a hit. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. 
Well, Singy, that was really nice looking. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Here's the third baseman, Hudson Potts. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these guys digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and it slams off the bottom of the wall. In safely with a leadoff double, go-ahead runs in scoring position. Hello, Always Peyton. feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Absolutely How are you doing, my friend? blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. They put the tag on him. And Luke Voigt climbs in. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Tries the bare hand, and it gets by him. And he'll be safe at first. What a play right there. Base is empty with two away. Stepping in, Hudson Potts. Fouled off down the right side. Ashby in his second season 24 years old and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2018 on the ground to short Monasterio collects and that'll do it you know even when these guys were trailing by six it seemed like they had confidence that they could get back in this ball game I don't know if they knew they could win it in this fashion but they did an excellent job of executing in the little ways they grinded it out and came away with a nice W yeah. Wow, they only gave me one. Felt like I did a little better with that dude. Had a couple of hits. Yeah, we're going to leave him in the minor leagues. Peyton. Oh, that's right. I never switched it. My bad. Yep. Shout out to another new friend who also carries at Fortnite and Fall Guys. Back here at the ballpark. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Ha ha, Late thanks, stages man. of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. How you doing? I'm hanging in there. How's everything going for you guys? Right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he did you win? That's did you win last night Great on platinum? There. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris, going to? for the fourth time tonight. First pitch doesn't find the zone. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous yeah, to tie this thing up or take the lead. Yeah, I tried for the Next first two, and then I gave the up plate. after that. Stirring I had in no the chance. Phillies bullpen, Jose Alvarado appears to be getting loose. I wish Platinum would have done it a different way. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And the way he did it, I feel like, you know, random people were just coming in and then. The pitch. And but it's his giveaway. It's funny. He put the codes in chat for one so I couldn't he get it for you. And I don't he have a PS to use the codes on. Ha ha. MOG face with tears of joy. And now three and two. Yeah. On this count, right? Like, I will never do a giveaway speed, like that because I, I, mean, I prefer when I do giveaways, you take and care of. Lifted in the air. Mind you, anyone can win. You know, that, that's, Marsh, that's the whole thing. Down, but and there's one down. You kind of want to make sure that your pe you can take care of your people. You know, Ozzie the people that are actually the going there every day supporting you. That's my peeve on it. I don't really, I'm not a big ball. fan of like someone coming in 
One run game here. Out of the, the blue, of the winning, ninth. and then you never see him again. Like to me, that's kind of messed up. Foul ball. That's usually why when I do them, I try to attach something to it. So someone who des deserves it. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Stop him out. Gassed it right by him. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Good contact guy, good defender. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Next one off the plate inside. And now 2-0. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies strand the tie. Back at Truist Park with Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Nobody out here in inning number eight. The Braves are in a strong position about halfway into the year as they're contending for a postseason spot. This is about what we expected of them, Singy, and they've done well. For sure. It's one thing to have high expectations coming into the year, but then you got to go out there and back it up. They're showing that they're for real. Could be extra bases. And now the tying run is in the scoring position. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. They haven't separated from the pack too much, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if they make a move or two and add some juice for a postseason push. Now fly ball to right center. Harris has a beat on it. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second. Arcia with a relay throw in there safely. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strikeout there. Strike out. Here's Byron Buxton for the fourth time tonight. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Got him looking, and he's down on strikes. For the Welcome back. Here's Orlando Arcia. Alcala back to work. And it's fouled away. You know, these Braves showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. One thing that really stands out is their chase rate. League average is around 30%, but they're at less than 20% right now. This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. He was all over that one. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way...
through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. And first offering is fouled off. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Bringing the cheese on that one. Garcia stands at second with no outs. Swung on, belted. That's back. And it one hops the wall. Runner from second crosses the play, and it's six four. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Here's Matt Olson. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Acuna coming home. Head first slide, and he's safe. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Here's Austin Riley. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. First offering misses the mark. Nobody out. Runner at first. Busting this game wide open. Swing it a minute. Yes. And the count is one and one. Right-handed reliever. Into center and a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. They hand the ball over to a new arm. Line drive, base hit right field. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. At the belt and fires. Foul ball there. Come on, baby. Throw me a strikeout. And you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something, but you've got to make some pitch. To the plate for one. Throw to first, safe. Oh, but we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Next pitch ah. is popped up. And the infield fly is called. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Good contact guy, good defender. Slice to right. Kepler makes the catch, and that'll do it. All set for the start of the inning. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Rysel Iglesias. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now the third baseman, Jose Miranda. In there and it's 0-1. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. In the air, left field, down the line, dives for it, 
but it gets down for a knock. Round second, digging for third. The relay, he's in there. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. And a foul ball. Miranda takes his lead at third with one away. Out there to center. Harris makes the grab. Runner tags for home. The tag, and that's the ball game. Another strong showing for I them. They get the they W, and that? they're really looking like a contender. Yeah, nice but win, but, you know, they're not running away with the league or anything like that, but they do look strong, and especially in this one. I'm interested to see, though, how they come out after the All-Star break. A hot stretch, that could really push them to the front of the pack. not going to do that. We might do that. But I feel like this trade is potentially just too dang good to pass up. No, we're going to do it. And here's the catcher, Chadwick Tronk. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through. But... Out towards right center field. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And into second easily with a two-out double. They add on as the run scores all the way from first. And they lead by three. Next to hit, Drew Lugbauer. 0-2 now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Three runs. And welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Chadwick Trump. Here comes a pitch. That's and a there's a ball. Hoti, a righty that throws with power. 28 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. In the air, out to center. Bradley under it. One away. Here's Matt Beatty. He's going. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. 
throw to second. He's safe. At the play, Chadwick Trump, one for two with an RBI double back in the first. Check swing, went around, strike one. That one ripped. Oh, that ball is night night trishy. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. His second of the year, and they add on. It's 8-3. One down. And now, Chadwick Trump. He's already homered in this game. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Makes the catch. And there's two away. And your final 10 to 5. Well, he wanted to impress the front office and push for a call up. And he had multiple hits in this one. That's got to help. Yeah, it's a great showing at the dish. And I know personally, I tried to show my best stuff anytime the front office sent down some people to take a look at me or any of my teammates. So I know he's got to be feeling pretty good right now. Again, there's only a slight flare boost. I don't understand. Or we will bring Mr. Trump up. That way he can Next for Atlanta, Chadwick Trump. That one hit to right. Brennan under this one. And there's two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him. He Chadwick Trump next up for the Braves. Slide to right his first time. Fought off foul. Runner at second here, one gone. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. I am projected to win the East. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Just overmatched on that bat. Back here in Cleveland. New inning getting started. Here's the catcher, Chadwick Trump. And that one ripped to left. Quad makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Chadwick Trump next up for the Braves for the fourth time tonight. Ah. 
And that's in there for strike one. Shane Bieber, former fourth round pick out of UC Santa Barbara. He's won a Cy Young Award, the pitching triple crown, and became the first pitcher in Cleveland history to win a gold glove. Not bad. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by that last one being the first one to win a gold glove with the great. Well, he's under it to make the catch in center. So the Atlanta Braves got an inauspicious yeah. debut from their recently promoted prospect. Yeah, poor he he looked plate. a bit lost at the plate today. Yeah, and I think when you call up a prospect midseason like this, you expect to see some growing pains. Oh, but yeah. I still got to think he they just, were I for would a little bit more uh, than what we've but you seen. See it but anyway. The good news is he didn't come up to ride the pine. So he's going to have plenty of chances to make an impact for this team. Are they seriously going to make me go through every team? So let's see here.
Let's try to oh yeah, bad situation here. Let's try to come back though. <laughs> first things first, we're pinch hitting for Biggio. Yeah, he's uh he's a lefty and I don't think he can I can do it much with that. So we're gonna go with Marcel Ozuna. Back here in Atlanta, welcome in John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. The Braves are out to a healthy lead. The division looking really good. Thinking so, with the trade deadline coming up, do you think they're set to go as is, or do you think they need to add some more firepower? Well, I think the way that the game operates in this day and age, Boog, I mean, teams making big additions at the deadline, and you just see it can be a flurry of moves. I'd be surprised if they just stayed with the roster they have. I think they could have a big deal in the works. A big trade pickup doesn't guarantee postseason success, of course, but it rarely hurts to at least make your team better on paper. Right side, ah. Marte. To second, that's one. And that's a double play to end it. Damn. Still a healthy lead in the division for them after that loss, but I'm sure they don't want to drop too many. No way. I mean, we've seen teams have a great first half before, only to fall apart down the stretch. I mean, this is a team I'm expecting to make a move before the deadline, try to get even stronger and build a powerhouse that can't be stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we won on my birthday. Back here at American Family Field with Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Nobody out here in inning number eight. Anderson in the box now. Take strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. And the pitch. That misses off the outside edge. Got him. Anderson down on strikes. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Kicks and deals. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came through for his club right there. Caratini in the box now. Takes strike one. Swings and misses. 
and it's 0-2. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Ozuna makes the catch. Two away. This is Bryce Terang. He's already homered here in this one. Fly ball down the line. And that'll get down for a hit. Here's the throw. And they hold the tying run at third. Throw up the stop sign, even with two away. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Next one is off the play, and it's 2-0. and oh. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. And it's even up. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. The pitch. Checks his swing. Now with a peel to third. No, he held up. Next pitch has popped up. Albies moving under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the. So remaining in the game defensively, Willie Adamas. He entered the game to pinch hit and now man second base. Here comes the new arm for the Brewers, Javi Guerra. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. I need and a pitch. Darno now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Devin Williams up and throwing for manager Craig Council. That one fouled oh, off. Here. Here's the 0-2. Hammer, base hit. Around first, digging for two. And he's got that a lead off double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. So a change being made out at second. On to pinch run, Sam Hilliard. Here's Marcelo Zuna. First offering misses badly for ball one. And fouled off. Ripped to third and caught. Row not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Vaughn Grissom. He's already homered in this game. And the first offering is not close. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Fouled off. He was late. Slapped foul. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. In the air, right side. Makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up to third. Now two away. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Yelich on the move. Racing makes the catch. And that'll. Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. 
Some of them are just wired different. So Boy, we'll see what he's got here. Contreras in the box now. Take strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, boy, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Next offering misses, and it's one and two. Got him swinging. And now it's Rowdy Telez. Both the infield and the outfield shifted over to the right. And first offering is fouled off. The tying run at the plate. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to first. And they're down to their last out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Winker in the box now. Takes strike one. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. 0-2 oh, now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Crowd locked in right now. One-run game here in the ninth. Got him! And that's the ball game. Considered a strong contender. Doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, they are though, they're in first place. Back here at the ballpark with Chris Singleton. I'm John Shambi. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Two on, one out. Matt Olson now at the plate. And with the game going to extras, he's still got a chance to keep his hitting streak going. To the right side. Sneaks through, base hit, around third. Across is the winning enough. run, and the Braves walk it off in extra innings. Simple enough. Now we're not giving up Bryce Elder. Try 
So we'll do that trade. Here's Alex Verdugo. Burns, 28 years old. He's a former National League Cy Young Award winner. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Grounder might be two. There's one. On to Telez, and the double play ends the inning. Here's Castillera. Went down on strikes his first time through. Going two now. That one ripped left field. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Looks like this guy was looking. At Alex Verdugo getting ready to hit. One for one with a single so far. Line drive, base hit down the line. Murphy around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time, he's safe at the plate. And now just a two-run deficit. So two down. Here's Orlando Arcia. 0 for 1 so far. Two outs. On the ground, right side. Dives, and he can't hang on. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Big time at bat right there. Comes through, and they're back within a run. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third. One out, base is empty. Down the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a foul straight back. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever. Back at Truist Park, we go to the eighth, and now it's William Contreras. And here comes. That one lifted to left. Verdugo ranging back, still going back. Just shy of the wall. Woo! He was off. Chris, today they had the chance to see how their trade for him might pan out, and the early returns were pretty good. Uh, and it's got to be a relief for him and the GM to see this kind of game after the trade, Boog. And, you know, some more good days at the dish like this, I think it's going to go a long way towards making this deal a real win for them.
Oh, they sent Chadwick Trump back down. Back here in Atlanta, John Shabby alongside Chris Singleton. Thanks for joining us. We're in the seventh with nobody out. We've seen a great pitching performance so far in this one. He has not allowed a hit. What's the mindset for him and his teammates right now, Singy? Well, you can bet that pretty much everyone on the bench knows exactly what's going down. And the key is to not let the moment get the best of you. Everybody just needs to do their job. Rendon, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Out in front and foul to the left side. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. So now one Football. and two. We'll see if he can finish the no-no, but he's already done enough to really boost this team going forward. And the next pitch is way outside. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. Got him swinging. Had him way out front of the slur. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment to get back on track. His team needs him. First pitch, and he just misses. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Otani stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Next offering is in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one missed. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. The one-two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The Angels still looking for their first hit in this one. Bounce back to the mound. Arcia handles the chance, slings the first, out number three. And welcome back to the batter now, Jared Walsh. And he's going to reset as he steps off the rubber. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Righty to the plate. Check swing, but he went too far. That is strike two. Stays alive. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's blown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Caught him looking for the K. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Kicks and fires. One and two. The Halos yet to pick up a hit here. Wind in the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Angels making a move for a pinch hitter. 
Gio Urshela looking for a two-out spark with the bases empty. In there for strike one. The tying run at the plate. Fights it off. He'll see another. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Next one just misses. And the count is one and two. Got it by him for the K. Angels help. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. And here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. That's in there. Strike one. Can only imagine the nerves that some of the defensive players have right now. You've got to have the mindset, I want the ball hit to me, but in front of that, you hope that he strikes the hitter out. Three outs from a no-hitter. Ah. the ball. And now two and two. Swings, and that's a base hit. And he breaks up the no-hitter in the ninth. Oh, man, Boog. He got through eight full innings, took the no-no into the ninth, and I really thought he was going to do it. But, you know, those last three outs can be so tough to get. But outside of that, he's been incredible to watch. Phillips at the plate now. That's ball one. Left field. Ozuna should have it. Puts it away for the out. Taylor Ward, the next to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right, 27 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2017. Bohapi stands at first with one out. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Rendon in the box now. No balls and a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. Field two. On the ground, out to short. That's the ball game. Well, we nearly saw history today, Singy, but he couldn't finish off the no-hitter. Still, they got the win. Yeah, and that's ultimately the more important thing. I mean, most of the game, he was absolutely dominating out there on the mound, really getting the dugout fired up, and I think it'll carry over for him in the next several games. Just really a terrific performance he gave us today. Oh my god, another one they want me to finish? They're just like bound and determined to try that no-hitter crop. But I'm going to try that another time, guys. I'm, I think I'm going to end stream here for today. Catch you again soon.